Okay. I'm sitting here and um think about the boots and cross things. I've been on YouTube most of the day and came across well, I decided to look at my description to see who posted something new. And ran across my girl, Gamless Beauty, with her contest right now, where it's like, got too much makeup. Give me some away. Want some? Or whatever the name of the thing is called. Yeah, I've got too much makeup. Want some? And I'm like, yeah. Yeah, no. I get, I get things from friends every once in a while or whatever, you know, stuff that's gently used and so on, because they'll ask me, well, do you mind if I, you know, do you mind if such and such is this way, that way, the other way? I'm like, no, because I know how to, you know, I know how to clean it up and go on my merry way with it, whatever. My, um, my makeup journey is pretty much a long one. I'm two years away from 40. And the first tube of lipstick that I received, I was nine. Previous or prior to that, previously, prior, whatever, uh, my mom, she put some eyeshadow on me when I was a little itty bitty to me. I mean, I'm still itty bitty, you know, I'm short. <laughs> but when I was a shorty shorty, she put some eyeshadow on me, and I just, you know, she was just playing around, and I was like, oh, mommy, I want to so she just kind of like put a little bit of stuff on me and I just kind of went around all day just looking cute playing dress up and all this other kind of stuff so for as long as I can remember I've been you know I get the little makeup kits and stuff the little kitty things or better still I had I mean I think I had my first lip gloss and I think I showed it to you guys in the collection my very first lip gloss the little rollerball dude I think I had that sucker since I was like Six. Yeah, it was before we moved, so I had that bad boy when I was six. That was my first gloss ever. I don't remember what the scent was. I don't know if it was cherry or strawberry or whatever. But I had that one, and I had another one that was like a blueberry. That one, that one got blitzed, whatever. So, I still have the very first lip gloss. Now, I do have a sample of the Pinkling by Avon that she gave me because she sold Avon for a while. She sold Blair. She sold Lucky Cosmetics. These are probably, the other two, besides Avon, are probably companies that you had never heard of before. But whatever she stopped doing or whatever, when I turned nine and I was like, Mom, I'm on board. I don't know what to do with myself. She started cleaning down her drawer and I got all of this stuff. I got face masks, which I completely ruined. They were all over the place. I got lotions, I got skin creams, I got nail polishes. Not a lot of liners going on back then for the stuff that she had. So, but I got that, I got powders, I got um, brow fixes, lipsticks, whatever eyeshadow she had that she wasn't going to use. Because she didn't wear a lot of makeup. But I would get in that, that mirror, other girls were off you know, doing whatever that thing was. I was only child, so I had to do a lot of stuff to entertain myself, and it really didn't bother me all that much. So, my love affair with makeup began as early as nine years old. Saturday mornings, I would be there in the mirror. I mean, I remember crying the first time I put eyeliner on. I remember crying putting on mascara, but I kept crying and kept putting it on until I got it right for me. Technique after technique, this, that, and the other. Bit about the group. Fast forward to, gosh, junior high, I believe. Well, junior high is when I first started. Actually, I was actually able to wear it out of the house with her permission, of course. And she was like, "Well, you know, you don't don't overdo it. Don't put on too much, whatever. Don't do the stuff like you do on the weekend. Try to figure out how to tone it down." And I'm like, "Okay." She could also tell me if this foundation worked, that foundation didn't work, whatever. Da da da. I always usually need somebody else to tell me as far as my foundation is concerned. I'm not, I don't do so hot with trying to pick it out myself. So between my mother and my husband, they were like the best two people to tell me what I needed for my face. Until I learned how to swatch it myself and figure out, okay, this works, this doesn't, whatever. And ladies and gentlemen, don't put it on the back of your hand. Put it on your jawline if you can, or put it on your wrist. Parts of your body are different shades, whatever, in order to try whatever you need to. Whatever disappears, that's your shade. 
your stuff is going to change, your skin color will change in the winter time, whatever, getting kind of on the topic, off the topic, same time, whatever. But, yeah, your skin tone will change. So it's best to have at least, you can probably get away with that one concealer, which is actually better if you put it on after your foundation, because all you're doing is wiping it away if you put it on before, whatever. Same thing with highlights. Highlight looks, it, it's actually better if you do your highlights, like drag queens, underneath instead of on top. Looks a lot better. Two tones as far as our sweeter complected sisters are concerned, your light is in here. You might be a little darker on the outside, so you're gonna, you may need two, you may need three different shades to work that out. Okay, that's that. But as far as, and that's the thing for me, I like teaching people how to do stuff themselves as opposed to just sitting around and slapping stuff on models all day. I mean, that's all good, well, fine, fantastic, ching ching, but my thing is teaching people how to do stuff. I know I haven't done as many tutorials as the next person or whatever. Mostly my thing is based on collections and hauls. I have to be... I have to be in a certain kind of mood to do tutorials, and then I've got to figure out how to put this stuff on camera just a little bit better. But getting back to everything, by the time I was in high school, between the, the, the last that last year of junior high, because we only had two grades for junior high where I was, which is seventh and eighth grade, and then you went to high school. By the time I got to high school, between all of the makeup stuff that they did, growing up in the 80s was a fantastic time for makeup, until they started doing this new thing. I never got into that. Always liked color. Love color. Like to understatement. Love color. I love color on the face. Smoky eyes, blues, greens, purples, reds, fantasy makeup, whatever. Red lips. You know, there's some chick fooling. I can't even remember who she is. Doesn't like red lipstick. Huh, bunk you. That was the first red that was the first lipstick I put on on a regular basis with any kind of red I could get my hands on. Before I knew what the right red was for me, which is well, blue. Because I'm warm tone. If you're a cool tone, try a warm color. Whatever and then too, remember, whatever makes your teeth bright. If it has yellow in the red, it's not gonna do so hot as far as your teeth unless they're super, super white. If your teeth are not super, super white, try a red with more blue in it. If the orange or yellow in the red is a little bit out there, tone it down with a brown. Or you might even be able to use a light blue pencil. That was one of the reasons why pink lipstick and stuff for a while when they were doing all those different things with a pink lipstick, they actually used like light blue liner with the pink lipstick to just bring it back. Whatever. But that's the kind of stuff I like sharing with people and so on and so forth. That's what makes me like things as far as, you know, like things, love things as far as makeup is concerned. And you got this vast array of colors and stuff in your face. That's why I get excited over like the 88 palettes and the 120s and stuff. You're looking at the sea of color and you're going, Oh, I just got to figure out what to do with it. It's fantastic, especially for the beginner. If you don't know what colors to get, get the palettes. They're, they're the best thing in the world. That Manly palette, oh my goodness, I really want that. And there's other palettes out there that I want that I've seen other people have. Yes, the 120 is one of them. I want to go back to Coastal Sense and get some other things. But at the same time, who could possibly go wrong with all of this this great stuff that Aaron, my love, <laughs> hi sweet, wants to get away. Yay! And don't think I'm... I call everybody my love at one point or another. Especially my daughter. She is the love of my life. And she likes me up to you. So, so I, got, I got her started real early. Matter of fact, she has her own kit. It's kind of destroyed, but she's got her own kit. Now, there were certain things that I did give to, give to her, and then some, some things I had to I had to reel back because I was like, I can't see this story like this. So, she had to totally understand whether she wanted to understand or not. Yes, sir? Yes, I? Yes, sir? Yeah. Anyway, yeah. I can't help it. I just, I just love the stuff. And there's just something about, you know, the different colors coming together and there are different ways you can apply foundation, that you can apply lipstick, that you can create this look, that look, the other look with, you know, with your eyes and so on. And my eyes are, like, my favorite feature. Lips are number two. I 
to care less about blush. That's just not my my thing. But I don't know how much how much more I could I could say. I mean, my I and I couldn't believe it when I did it. But my collection video alone took six parts. I didn't know I had that much stuff until I took it all out, and I I didn't realize how long I had been wearing things and so on before I even decided to get in, you know, to try to even get into this part of the industry because before I wanted to, I wanted to do fashion design. I, it was either fashion design or interior design, something artistic. That's all I know. So now my art is makeup. And I just hope you guys like what you see, and so on and so forth. And, man, that's pretty much it.